Look up at the night sky and you're staring into the neighborhood we call our solar system. About 4.6 billion years ago, our solar system was just a giant cloud of gas and dust. Gravity pulled the cloud inwards and towards the middle, making it smaller but thicker. As it shrank, the cloud heated up in the center and the sun started to form. The leftover bits swirled around, eventually clumping together to form the planets we know today. One group of rocky lumps never grew into planets. These are what we now call asteroids. And here we are, starring in one of the most amazing cosmic shows ever, the solar system. Let's meet our neighbors, the planets of the solar system. Starting from the sun, we have Mercury, hot and rocky, closer to the sun than any other planet. Mercury was named after the messenger of the gods because it moves so fast. Did you know Mercury zips around the sun in just 88 Earth days? Next up is Venus, the brightest planet in our sky. It's very easy to see from Earth. It's often called Earth's twin because of its similar size, but don't be fooled. Venus is covered in thick clouds that trap heat, making it hotter than Mercury and hiding a planet which is actually very different from the Earth. It is a very dangerous place to explore. And then there's Earth, our home sweet home. It's the only planet we know that supports life, and also the only planet we know to have water on the surface. As the third planet away from the sun, Earth is just the right distance from the sun. The temperature is just right to keep water flowing in rivers and seas. This is why there is so much life on Earth, but as far as we know, nowhere else in the solar system. Speaking of which, did you know Earth has a best friend? It's the moon. Together they create tides, light up the night sky and make our planet feel less lonely out here in space. And after Earth, we have Mars. It looks red when you see it in the sky from Earth. Mars is much smaller than Earth or Venus. And for over 100 years, people have wondered if there is life on Mars. In the past, through their telescopes, astronomers could see ice caps like on Earth. They also saw its red appearance change over time and thought that this could be plants growing on the planet's surface. As we now know, this is not true. Mars is a barren rock as far as we're aware. Now, let's check out the big guys. The next four planets beyond Mars are called the gas giants, made up of mainly gas and liquid. Meet Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. It is so massive that you could fit more than 1,000 Earths inside it. It is at least twice as massive as all the other planets put together and is very easy to see in the night sky. In Jupiter's clouds, there is also a large red oval that was first seen over 300 years ago. It is called the Great Red Spot and seems to be a huge storm like a hurricane on Earth. It is a swirling cloud more than twice as wide as the Earth itself. And next up is Saturn, famous for its beautiful rings made of ice and rock. Did you know those rings are as wide as the distance between Earth and the Moon? Saturn is a little smaller than Jupiter. It's bright enough to see in the night sky, but its spectacular rings can only be seen with a telescope. In 1610, Galileo looked at Saturn through his telescope and thought that Saturn had ears. Christian Huygens later realized in 1655 that it was actually a large ring. Far beyond Saturn lies the deep freeze zone. Meet Uranus and Neptune, our solar system's ice giants. 
Uranus is tilted so much it orbits the sun on its side like an acrobat. It's much smaller than Jupiter and Saturn, but is still a giant compared to the Earth. Because Uranus is tilted so much, it gives Uranus strange seasons. One pole faces the sun and has constant sunlight for about 40 years, leaving the other side in complete darkness for 40 years. Could you imagine what that's like? Neptune is a similar planet to Uranus, though it is not tipped over on its side, and Neptune has winds that can reach 2,100 km per hour. That's faster than a speeding bullet. Now, let's not forget about the little guys. Meet Pluto, a dwarf planet that was once thought to be the ninth planet. It's smaller than our own moon and less than half as big as the largest moons in the solar system. We do not know very much about Pluto because it is very small and very far away. Beyond Pluto lies the Kuiper Belt, a region filled with icy objects and leftover pieces from our solar system's formation. Who knows what other mysteries are hiding out there? So there you have it, a crash course in our solar system. It's a place full of surprises, from scorching hot planets and ice-covered giants and even tiny dwarf planets waiting to be explored. Next time you look up at the night sky, remember you're part of something bigger than you can imagine. The solar system is just the beginning. Thanks for watching. Let's continue orbiting curiosity together.